Jeff, no? In a nutshell, Facebook ads yung mga makikita niya sa news feed niya na sponsored posts. No? Um, they allow us to reach people. They allow us to reach people na hindi naka-like sa page natin necessarily. No? And I'll tell you more about that later. No, but in essence, Facebook ads really is an express way between your client and target market. Now, if you have a business, particularly, for example, you're um, for I think for a lot of you, you're doing um, baking as your business. You're, you're you're selling pastries, cakes, ganyan. And Facebook ads is one way among many ways, but Facebook ads is one way to help you get to that client, get them to know more about you, and eventually buy. And we like to call it an express way because there are lots of ways to get to your customer relationship building, SEO, ganyan. But for us, really fast way is to do it through Facebook ads. Now, I'll give you um, an analogy on what Facebook ads are. Now, let's say, no, so I'll require your participation ulit. Let's say I wanted to buy toys para sa anak ko. Uh, my son is turning three years old um, and gusto ko siyang bilhan ng toy. Assuming walang lockdown, saan ako pupunta para bumili ng toys? I'm checking the chat. Toy Kingdom, Mall, Mall, Check Star. Yes, I want a toy star. Gusto ko ng toys, puta ang toy star. Next, gusto kong bumili ng mga polo. No? Mga polo para magmukha ang pogi. Where would I go? Saan? Okay, pumunta na. Mall, Mall, Zalora, Mall. Yes, I would go to Uniqlo. No? Favorite ka yan. Go to Uniqlo. Kung gusto kong bumili ng groceries, kung gusto kong bumili ng broccoli, carrots, tomato, no, ano natin yan? Pupunta ako ng grocery store. Now, my question is, going back to the main point of this whole webinar is, kung gusto ko ng customers, kung gusto ko ng, ng likes, kung gusto ko ng, ng mga tao na kumausap sa akin, people to, to inquire with me on Facebook, or people to inquire with me on my business, where would I go? Diba? I would go to a store na nagbe- nagbebenta ng customers. And in this case, that store that we go to is Facebook, no? For us, kasi yun talaga yung specialty namin. We go to Facebook, yun yung parang customer store namin. We go to Facebook, we buy, we pay Facebook so we can buy leads and customers. So what's this concept of buying leads and customers? I mean, di ba, especially kung nagnegosyo ka, di ba kaya ka nga nagnegosyo eh? Kaya ka nagnegosyo kasi gusto mong kumita bakit ako magbabayad ngayon ng platform for me to get customers? Diba? Parang nalugi. But to give you clarification on that, um, let's do some math. Let's say on average, on average lang, um, let's say on average, you close two clients for every five leads. No? May, may, may limang nag-message sa akin, um, makaklose sila ng two clients. And for the sake of math lang, let's say each client is worth 250,000 pesos. Meaning, let's say, nagbebenta ka ng, ano mong worth 250,000 pesos. Example lang, ah. so, sobrang di ko alam. Eh. May kotse, na sobrang liit. Let's say, benta ka ng kotse, pag may limang taong nag-inquire sa'yo, dalawa dan magiging buyer sa'yo. So, each client to you is worth 250,000 pesos. Ang question ko is, would you pay 50,000 pesos to get 10 leads? Would you pay... 50,000 pesos para makakuha ka ng 10 inquiries. No. Um, another version of that question is, would you pay 50,000 pesos to get 1 million pesos? As in, I'm asking, so please, uh, sure, sure, yes, yes, ako, of course. Bawa, may magsabi sa akin na, may 50 pesos, may yakita 1 million. Go! And that's basically what we do with Facebook ads. Now, we pay the platform and we create a campaign or we create campaigns that will allow us to generate this kind of revenue. <clears throat> and we've actually done this already. You know? So I'd like to share with you a few quick case studies lang of how we've used Facebook ads to generate um, customers for, um, for different clients of ours. And these are all in the Philippines. No? So for a local software company, we spent 50,000 pesos to generate 759 new users. Each user would spend 1,500 pesos. That means, now, if you do yung, the math, it's 1.1 million in revenue. So basically, we spent 66,000, uh, 66 pesos 
to get a customer who would give us 1,500 for that year. That's a 2,260% return on investment. Excuse me. Sorry, medyo tinisip pa na ako ngayon. Hey. Hi. For a coaching client, for a coaching client of mine, um, for a period of three months, we spent around 224,000 pesos on ads. And so you'd think parang, wow, ah, 224,000, ganyan. But for this particular coaching client, we were able to get 170 students for his program worth 18,000 pesos. Now, if you do them, that's a revenue of 3 million pesos, all by spending 224,000. Now, the 224,000 doesn't seem so big na, diba? And it's um, a period of uh, three months, uh, spread out siya. So, syempre, um, in this case, parang, kung yan yung revenue namin, we'd gladly pay for that. Next, does it only work for online businesses? No. For that local cosmetic surgeon, Jen Sa QC, um, for a period of four months, we spent 100,000 pesos. That's less than 1,000 pesos a day. We were able to generate during this time 193 leads. Now, medyo mahal. That's 500 pesos per lead. Hindi man lang siya customer. But each converted client, they don't share their numbers with me, yung sales, kung how many leads turn into customers, but they've been keeping us on for two years already. And our minimum nila per converted client is 80,000 pesos. For two years, we've been working with them for two years. So um, as far as we know, it's really been profitable for them. And mind you, walang website to. One of the biggest misconceptions I have with regards to social media marketing and Facebook ads and digital marketing is that kailangan mo ng website. Walang website to. Um, walang chatbot, walang wow. any tech. Facebook ads lang. We have a Facebook page and people would inquire through Facebook Messenger. Pag may mag inquire manual yung nakikipag-usap. Um, yung assistant ni Doc, nakikipag-usap siya, oh, ito yung price namin, ito yung ganyan. So, walang tech masyado. Well, walang tech. It's just Facebook. Yung masyadong tech. And again, for high-ticket client, we do not have websites here. It's really just in people inquiring through Messenger. And for a period of four months, we spend 124,000 pesos on ads, generated 15,000 leads. And per lead, that's around eight pesos lang. And the previous year, they closed 16% of all their leads. So we can only assume that they've been effective sa leads that we generate. Namin. We don't know their sales number, eh. but we've been working with them for three years already. No? And the minimum per closed client is 100 k now, you might be say, saying, parang, wow, ang mahal, we don't have that kind of budget. Hindi naman ganun yung price point ng nabinita namin products. And the beauty of this is it doesn't have to be that amount of ad spend. Now, you can do like 100 pesos per day, 200 pesos per day. I would recommend around the 500 pesos per day mark. Um, I've worked with someone selling cookies and brownies just in the Cubao area. We're spending 500 pesos a day for people to message her to order. Tapos she doesn't even have her own like store or bakery. She'll just connect the orders through Facebook Messenger. And then there's siya specific meeting time. For example, every 11 a.m. dito sa spot na to. So about collect your order. Ganun lang. And we've been very effective with that. And it's just the local area. You don't even have to target the whole of Metro Manila or wherever you're at, just your local area. And I'll show you that example later. Now, um, and really what works for us, now in terms of generating leads, customers, or kahit likers lang, kahit gusto mong mapadami yung likes sa page, sa page mo, just to get the awareness out there, people, people think na the secret is the way we do the campaigns. Now, kung meron kami, meron kami mga secret ninja hacks na ginagawa, the truth is, what make what makes everything work for us is all the planning behind it. No, yung mga recipes, yeah, recipes, so related. <laughs> yung mga ingredients na that build up the ad. No, parang I'll share with you the four elements of high converting ad campaign, so that if you do want to do Facebook ads for your business to generate likes, to generate inquiries, you know na ito yung mga what pulls the lever? No, it, these are these four elements are what makes a difference. So much so that if you're not interested in ads, no, you're not interested in shelling out money. These four 
things, no? these four things, if you're able to hone it down, you can actually start to generate more engagement, more following, and eventually more customers, even without ads. No? Um, but what these are the four elements we found for a high converting ad campaign and what makes um, good Facebook pages really continuously generate engagement then. Hi. All right. So before I continue, I want to know the chat if you're ready to hear. Game by game. Say, say game. Just so I, know, I want to know that you're all here. And yeah. All right. Game. Okay. Number one. Number one is your offer. No. What are you offering? Again, if you're talking about a business, you're talking about you generating inquiries or generating leads, what are you offering? No. Are you offering something that people want? Like, for example, um, when we did our, um, yung, yung sa friend ko na, na cookies, no? it wasn't just us saying na, oy, eto cookies, bili kayo. What we were offering was something specific. Na parang sabi namin, sabi ko sa, ano, sabi ko sa, sa friend ko, ano ba yung gusto ng customers mo? Why do they want your cookies? Why do they want your brownies? Anong meron? Um, and one of the things she found was, in the targeting residents around Cubao area, what's been working for her is yung mga tao sinasabi nagkikrave sila for cookies, nagkikrave sila for a dessert na hindi masyadong matamis. So our ads, we were focusing, rather than the cookies themselves, ang in-offer namin was satisfy your sweet tooth, satisfy your dessert craving. Because what people wanted was not necessarily yung cookie, but it was to have their dessert fix. So it's very important that you know what is it that your customers want. Apart from what you're selling them, if you're talking about a bakery or whatever business you are at, what are you selling them? So here are some examples. For um, for yung local cosmetics client, uh, we weren't offering yung nose job na offer kagad nila. What we were offering was a free video consultation because we knew that people just wanted to get their answers questioned. Yun yung pinaka one thing that they want. Um, they wanted to get their answers questioned and not necessarily have to go to a clinic to do that. So we shared um, free video consultation. People would avail of the video consultation, generate trust with our with our client, with the doctor. And then for those people na ma-feel nila na, oh, gusto ko nga pa magpagawa kay doc, then that's when they come into the clinic and then they become customers. Now for this, nakita ko sa newsfeed ko, rather than saying, this is an online course for golfers, very specific siya. What he is offering is how golfers are shaving off strokes of their scores in two weeks. So very specific. This person knows what his target market wants. Um, and it's the same even with liking pages. Kung gusto mag -like lang sila. Some people will just say, like us or follow our page. Ganyan. But we're not really moved to do so. What moves us is like my page so that you can get tips about Facebook ads. If you're going to invite someone to like your page, or if you're going to invite someone to speak with you or come into your store, if you have a store, you have to answer the question, what's in it for me or for them? Because the truth is, in any decision we make, as people, we would always have what we call an agenda. What's in it for me? It doesn't necessarily have to mean selfish. Because sometimes when we say about an agenda, we have a hidden agenda and it's easy. It is, it's not necessarily, it's not bad. Having an agenda is not a bad thing. It's just, what's in it for me? Yun lang. Lalabas ako or tutulong ako sa mga frontliners, what's in it for me? Ang agenda ko because I want to feel good. Kasi alam kong nakatulong ako. I want to help. I want to know that I've contributed. Yes, marami akong natulungan. That's, that's um, the purpose of what I'm doing. But for me in particular, I know that I have made the world. I have helped make the world make the world a better place in a dark time. Now, so what's in it for me? So, if you're going to invite people to like your page, answer the question: What's in it for me? Like our page to check out um, our updates or, or our menu or kung ano yung pwede mong orderen. Like our page to um, get the first parang 
get first dibs kapag may promo. Ganyan, ba? So really answer the question, what's in it for me? Clear? Yes, yes. Okay. Number two, copy. Now, for those that are not familiar, copy is what we refer to when we talk about the text sa mga post and sa mga ad. No? So, um, diba usually when you'd scroll through newsfeed, may text and then may image or video. Um, copy refers to the text. Now, I'm, prior to doing Facebook ads, I wasn't an advertising person. So, pumasok ako dito sa Facebook ads world, copy na yung tawag sa copy. Apparently, throughout adverti- throughout time sa advertising, yung tawag talaga sa copy ay copy. And I didn't really know why. But having done this, and I'm, uh, having done this for five years na, um, I have a feeling that the reason why it's called copy is because, like for us an agency, our best copy are words that our customers use. Now, if lalo na when I was getting started, hindi ako magaling magsulat. Um, what we would do is to go to review websites, check out what our customers are saying. Para sa mga customer na grabe sobrang sarap nito parang parang tumikim ako tas para ako nasa heaven. Yun yung gagamitin namin sa ad. And that has really, really, really been effective for us even up until today. When we onboard a client, we look at their reviews. We um, we, st- we look at what their customers are saying. Na parang we go to their customers and say, why did you buy from us? Why did you do this? Now, what did you love about this product? And then when people say, ah, we love this product because it's very convenient. Kanyan. So yun yung gagamitin namin sa ad. Kasi people already saw na it was convenient. So we copy that word convenient and then put it sa ads namin. And your copy, the text, whether it's a post, whether it's ads, it should convey why your offer is something that people want. But why is it? Why 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 should they care? Why should they listen? No. So I'll give you a couple of examples. This was made by a student of mine. I'm very proud of him. Um, he was working with um a toothpaste company. And this particular toothpaste company, I think the toothpaste was parang charcoal toothpaste or whatever. And all their ads prior to my company coming in. Or, or prior to my my student coming in, their ads were always, check out this charcoal toothpaste. Ang galing-galing ng charcoal toothpaste. Na. It was all about toothpaste. And when my student came in, he highlighted this. Goodbye, madalang ngipin. No, it was white. So parang before, people were seeing charcoal toothpaste. Wala silang pakialam kasi alam pakialam ko sa charcoal toothpaste. But now... My, nung, nung ginawa nung, nung student ko, if you can see, ang daming, like, nag-viral siya eh. So, almost 15,000 likes, 11K shares, na uh, 11K comments. Nag-viral siya because it started to now talk about what, it now started to talk about what people wanted, what their customers wanted, which was whiter teeth. In this particular case, for a friend of mine, si John, um, rather than saying we have a free workshop on freelancing, so that was what we were offering, um, rather than saying na uh, an um an online freelancing course, no, we were very specific. How to build a sought after, highly paid, stress free freelance business? Why? Because we went to freelancing groups and asked them what their main problems were. Their top three main problems were number one, how to get clients. No, um, lagi silang hanap ng hanap ng clients. They don't know where to find. If- where to effectively find clients. No, so we we use the word sought after. Next is they wanted to be highly paid. Ang issue lagi nila is na uh, I'm sure mababa yung rate ganyan. So he wanted to be highly paid. And then finally, he wanted to be stress free. Para sa lagi nila sinasabi ang stressful, ano, nasa bahay kang work from home pero very stressful. So what we wanted to teach in this particular workshop was how to build a sought after, highly paid Stress-free freelance business, right? So I'm seeing ng sa chat na maraming nakaka problem. So um, hopefully that gets fixed. But I'm seeing um, gracing naman na may replay to. So um, ayon. So eto magkakwento sa inyo ng ng very relevant. It was shared to me by my friend John. Then. Um, and when I teach copy, this is one of my favorite na kwento. Kasi it's very relevant. No? So, 
Um, imagine ito. Imagine waking up one morning, tapos parang sobrang sakit ng lower back mo. Right here where the picture is showing. Sobrang sakit ng lower back mo. And then when you try to move right, ang sakit. When you try to move left, ang sakit. And then when you stand up, when you sit up, it's like a bolt of lightning moving from your back to your neck. Tapos sobrang sakit. Numapasigaw ka, ah, ang sakit. Tapos you went on with your day. Nag-lunch ka with your friend, sabihin nung isang mong friend, eh, cold compress lang yan, mawawala yan. Tapos sabihin nung pangalawa mong friend, anong cold compress? Warm compress dapat yan. And then sabihin nung pangatlo mong friend, sus, masahe lang kailangan, masahe lang kailangan mawawala yan. And all of these advice na ikaw, alam mong hindi yun yung nakakatulong. But your friends, the people you trust, ito yung mga sinasabi nila. And then at that moment, at that moment, sabi nung waiter, dumating yung waiter mo, this person you have never known, you have never known, sa'yo mo makita, and then sabi sa'yo, ma'am, sir, sorry po, I couldn't help but overhear what you were talking about. No, yung pain ba na sinasabi mo, ito yung dito, sa lower back, dito, dito, sinuro niya. Tapos pag nag-move ka ng right, ang sakit, pag nag-move ka ng left, ang sakit, and then when you try to sit up, No, it's like a boot of lightning moving from your back to your neck. Sobrang sakit, mapasigaw ka, ah! And this person who you've never met before was able to clearly describe the pain you were going through. Makikinig ka ba sa kanya? Let me know sa chat. Yup, yup, yes, di ba? Mention eh, gets na gets niya. Gets na gets niya. And then sabihin niya sa'yo, ay sus, madali lang yan. Feeling ko kahit di nyo kilala to, mapatanong ka, paano? Sige nga. Diba? And that's what powerful copy does. Now, that's what powerful copy does, whether it's an ad, whether it's a post lang sa page mo, a post lang sa profile mo. If you want to get your target market's attention, you have to understand what their pain is. No? And um, for some businesses, for example, if you're solving a specific pain, This might be easier. Pero what? What about for ano? If you're just selling, paano ang pain yun? I'm just selling. I'm just selling cookies, diba? Diba? What we would do then really is to get our customers' feedback. Why did you buy this in the first place? Ano ba yung hinahanap mo? As I mentioned kanina, we used um, the example of we used the example of satisfying your cravings. So I'll give you another personal example of mine. If in case you are in this. You're, you're selling these types of, of cookies now. When um, when my wife was pregnant with our first child, or ne, not pregnant, not give birth now, um, breastfeeding was a concern for us on um, supply. Um, and during that time, hindi kami nagbebake, and we were really looking for. We were really looking for someone who could supply us with the cookies, the lactation cookies. I don't know if you're um, if you're familiar. And at that point, it was a real pain point for us. Parang we really wanted it. It meant so much to us for us to have it. And what allowed us to find a supplier for that was, yeah, you know, when we read the post of someone who knows exactly what we were going through. Na parang hirap, na parang stress. Champion, it was our first child. We namin ang gagawin. Tapos ngayon nagaka concern pa about um nagaka concern pa about um the supply of 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 breast milk then. And they were able to clearly describe what we were going through. So it was a no-brainer for us to speak with with that person and say, "Oh, we're interested. Can you send us some?" Ganyan. And yun, nagkaro kami ng we we decided to buy. No, and we were happy. Naman, we were so happy. Now we kept on ordering. We even learned um, how to do it on our own. And for me in particular, I I went from sixty nine kilos to eighty one kilos. No, so yung wife ko pumayat ako ako yung lumakay. Anyway, kwenta lang yan. So, yeah. So really, going back, what's important when when we're doing ad copy, or we're doing ads, we're doing posts, is to answer the question: Why should I care? No, let the other people know why should I care? Why should I read your ad? Why should I read your posts? Okay, number three. So we're halfway. Number three is creative. Now I'll be honest with you. When I was getting started with Facebook ads, up until mga the middle point, mga the third year, sobrang walang pake lang masadong sa creative. Creative is the visual component of the ad, whether a picture or a video. Tapos dati talagang napakialam sa creative. Sabi ko, basta maganda yung copy ko, 
mga kabenta ko. Kahit anong creative ilagay mo dyan. But I could not be more wrong. Um, and one meme or one graphic showed me the importance of creatives. And I'll share that with you in the next slide. Okay, are you ready? So take a look at take a look at the picture on the next slide and tell me kung accurate siya for you. Yeah. Let me know if that's accurate. Yes, 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 yes. Now, if you're if you take a break or the next few seconds, go to Facebook and you scroll and you start to notice your behavior. Ano yung behavior usually natin pag nag-scroll tayo sa Facebook? We keep on scrolling until we find something that attracts our attention. That something usually is the creative. No? Biglang may makita kang friend mo na may ginagawa, mapapastat ka, oh, ano to? Tsaka mo lang babasahin yung post niya. And this, when we saw this, it was funny, but we realized the importance of the creative. Na parang kaya pala there would be times na I would put my heart and soul sa research ng copy and write out a good, a really good ad. Pero hindi siya nagko-convert. Walang nag-click. Only to realize na kahit, kung, kahit gano'ng kaganda yung pagsulat namin sa copy, if we do not have a creative that gets the attention of our target market, wala lang din siya. Diba? Parang, that's why it's very important that you have a creative that fits in and stands out. No? So, medyo ironic, no? but what does that mean? When we say fit in, um, we've noticed this as a behavior. No? I'm sure not probably not a lot of people, to, pero in general, we've seen na yung mga ads namin, pag yung picture is mukha talagang ad. Alam mo, yun, yung may binabenta talaga, 50% off, yung may, may, parang, may banner pa, parang buy this. Usually, we, we find that people don't necessarily engage or click with it kasi mukhang ad. Now, the thing is, people don't normally go to Facebook to buy naman, di ba? They don't wake up, check out their Facebook, and say, ano kaya pwede kong bilhin on Facebook today? And here comes this this this, this person or this page trying to sell you something. Di ba? Minsan papascroll ka. So we like it to be, to fit in, meaning um, we also call it being native. In the next slide, I'll, I'll show you an example of that. Na something that is relevant to your target audience. Hindi ka mukhang masyadong ad. Like, for example, yung nag kami ng cookies, it was pictures of cookies. Kasi yung mga tao, mahilig naman sila mag-picture ng mga kinakain nila and post it on Facebook. So yun lang din yung mga pictures na pinagamit namin. Kasi alam namin na yung mga mahilig sa cookie will resonate with a picture of a cookie. It's may gatas ka, ganyan. Something that is normal sa Facebook newsfeed. No, that's fitting in. But at the same time, dahil ang daming content dyan, we also want to stand out. No, So some ways on how we stand out, number one is we use square images or video. Bakit square? If you go to your Facebook news feed now, sa phone nyo, if you try to scroll, may kita nyo yung usual rectangle dati na pahaba. Ang liit lang niya. But yung square, it takes up more space. So kapag nag-scroll yung mga tao, you get an extra kahit one second of their attention lang. So number one, we like it to be square. Number two, we add contrast to it. No, so from my phone, for example, so I don't use video, I don't use images na naka-photoshoot, tapos um, photoshoot ako, tapos edit ko pa sa professional. Phone lang gamit. Phone lang gamit ko when I do my ads. Mag-pick, mag-selfie lang ako, do it square. And then from my phone, lalagyan ko na ng filter na to add contrast just to have that extra color. No, just to stand out. Now, here are some examples. So if you were a friend of mine, so sponsor to, but if you were a personal friend of mine and Facebook friends tell you, you would know that this is this particular type of image is very native to what I post. No, nagpost ng mga kalokohan, picture ko, mukha ko. Um, and if you'll notice, hindi siya like super natural. Um, naka edit siya, make the colors pop. Uh, so that's yun yung sa um that's the contrast to it. Now, dati tinatanong ng mga tao, should I have my picture sa ads ko? For me, in particular, I usually put my picture sa ads ko if I'm reaching out to people who know me already. If they have, they've, been, they've been a customer before, nasa email list ko sila, people who know me and my face already. Because, pag nag-scroll sila, I want them to stop and see anong kanakohan na naman yung ginagawa ko. No? Yung pala, webinar siya. But sometimes I use 
Kasi if I, ano, if I run ads of my picture to people who don't know me, chances are wala silang pakailang mag-skip lang sila. Unless I have pictures of something like this. Now, what I call action shots. Um, parang shots na that would make me look like I'm an authority in this case. You know? um, again, for my friend the, na, na bakery um, person, we had a pic, we had a video of her taking out the freshly baked cookies from the oven. Now that's relevant kasi para makita ng mga tao na it's really her and it's really fresh. No? So it's really trying to identify um, what is relevant to your target audience. All right? So, yeah. And finally, the fourth element, the fourth element of high converting ad campaign is targeting. And it's yung the thing very beautiful about Facebook, Facebook ads in particular. Um, and for those na hindi alam ng Facebook ads, I'm very excited for the next few minutes because I'll show you the power of Facebook ads. Because you know how um, when we do traditional advertising, well, ako I don't, but uh, when how traditional advertising works, no TV, radio, or print, you know. So let's say maglagi ka ng billboard sa EDSA uh, or one page spread sa magazine or sa newspaper, one page print sa newspaper, yes, maraming makakakita niyan. But how many of those people, kaya sa EDSA, how many of those people, the millions of people seeing your billboard, how many of them are actually your target customer? And how many of them will actually buy from you? But the beauty with Facebook ads, that's why I love recommending it to small businesses, kahit 50 pesos a day lang, is that you're able to reach the specific audience that you would like to reach. No? Um, for example, gusto mo men lang, pwede men lang. Gusto mo mga nanay lang, pwede puro nanay lang. Kung gusto mong Metro Manila lang, pwede. Naka-lockdown tayo. Kung gusto mo sa city mo lang, pwede. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that. Because after everything that we do, no, maganda yung creative natin, we have a good copy, we have good a good offer. But if we're putting it in front of the wrong audience, people who would never like our page or, or even buy from us, then wala lang din. No? And I'm excited to show you that this is what it looks like. So don't be scared for those who are not techie. Um, I know a lot of people don't believe this, pero ako sobrang hindi din ako techie. Um, people always approach me for advice about um, laptops or cell phones or software. Ito sobrang wala akong bigay kasi hindi talaga ako techie person. But anyway, this is the targeting dashboard where we set up who we target. Um, para sino yung mahakita ng ads natin. No? Um, so for example, ito, you can set Metro Manila lang. But again, we're targeting the people na we're only spending for people to see our ads. No? Um, so you can do Metro Manila lang. And for like a friend of mine, sabi ko, di ba? Like a friend of mine, kubaw lang siya. So you're actually able to pinpoint, for example, may, may store ka, may bakery ka, you can pinpoint sa map where your bakery is and only target one mile around it, yung nearby area. So this one in particular, um, I live so, um, I live in this area. May bakery dito, nagbenta ng fresh pandesal. Um, and naisip namin na mag-bake lang kaya kami na sarili namin pandesal. Um, tapos mag-ipag-compete kami, basically. So parang iniisip namin, so ano competitive advantage natin? Sabi ko, hindi kami tayo Facebook ads kasi we can target the local neighborhood lang eh. Um, unlike them, they're relying on on. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how they're marketing their their service. Pero yeah, if you actually want to compete with them, we can do it through Facebook ads. Eh. We've had bazaars here sa village namin. Tapos ginagamit namin yung Facebook ads just to tell people to come to our bazaar. Kasi you can target your local neighborhood lang. All right. So this is. Um, the detailed targeting box just to show you the different types of people you can target. No? You can target, and dito na siya amazing. Again, kung kilala mo sino yung target audience mo, pwede mo sabihin kay Facebook, gusto ko, ito lang yung reach ko. You can target people based on their education level. Gusto mo college grad, high school grad, kung gusto mo master's degree, you can say, you can tell Facebook that. Life events. Um, if you were like me, when you got engaged, no, nagpropose ako sa girlfriend ko. When I got engaged, um, I changed my status sa Facebook from in a relationship, excuse me, from in a relationship to engaged. 
Diba? And when I started when I got engaged, I started getting all these ads from wedding suppliers na parang saying, "Uy, check out our photography service, check out our catering service." Kasi these suppliers were targeting people who were engaged, no? Other life events you can target is kapag nag um, nag-change ng job, kapag naging kapag kinasal, diba? You can target parents. So for for those of you, for example, in my case, um if you were, you're selling lactation cookies and ang specific target mo are parents of newborns, there's a way to target them. No? For example, parents of newborn in, in this area, pwede mo silang i-target. Um, you can target people depending on their relationship, um, depending on their relationship status. No? In a relationship, um, married, divorced, it's complicated, ganyan. You can even target people you can even target people based on their work demographics, no? Sino employer nila, and job title nila. No, for example, example lang, nagbebenta ka ng ano, nagbebenta ka ng flour. No, so more random. Nagbebenta ka ng flour. Kasi ang gusto mong ma-reach ay yung mga um, pastry chef sa buong Metro Manila. No, you can actually pinpoint that. You can target people whose job title is pastry chef. Parang ganyan. You can target based on interest. You can target those who are interested in food and drinks. You can target people interested in brownies and cookies and cupcakes. Yeah. You can even target by behaviors. No, kung malapit na anniversary nila. No, for example, target din mo yung mga husbands na malapit na anniversary. Para uy, um, bilhan mo ng cake yung asawa mo. We can do a customized cake for you. Yeah. You can even do this for birthdays. No, kapag malapit na birthday nila. Or kapag yung kapamilya nila or close friend nila malapit na mag-birthday. You can say na, uy, we do deliveries for office for offices if you want us to, ganyan, if you want us to bring a cake for them. You can even target people based on their mobile device. No? Kung gusto mo Android users lang or iPhone users lang, ganyan. Here are some examples of interest and demographics that you can target no? if it makes sense to you. Um, for example, again, kung wedding supplier ka, if, for example, wedding gifts, diba? you have cupcakes as wedding gifts, souvenirs, or wedding cake, this is a good interest to target on newly engaged. Congratulations on your engagement. No? Um, we're offering, for newly engaged couples, we're offering a free taste test of our cupcakes or cakes. No? Parang ganyan. Again, with the lactation cookies, for example, you can target new parents. No? Um, Hi, parent. Um, congratulations on your newborn. Um, I know sometimes it's it's tough being a new parent, and to add to that, means an na ha worry pa yung walang supply ng milk. If that is in uh, an issue of yours, we can help you with lactation cookies. Ganyan. Engage shoppers, for example, people who clicked on the buy now button. Ha? For example, kaka 11 lang. Alam mo na shopping yung mga yan. Then mag-run ka ng ad na parang, uy, ano, na-stress ka na shopping mo? Um, parang, na-stress ka ba dahil hinihintay mo yung in-order mo sa Lazada? Order ka muna ng cookies. Very random, but what I'm trying to show you is the power that you can actually tell Facebook who you want to reach. You know? For someone like me, you can target people who are interested in electronic dance music. Now, here's some um, that you want to target. For example, if you're selling cheesecakes, brownies, desserts, now you can actually target people in your local area interested in these now, if you want to reach them. Now, imagine, mo, you can reach people who like cheesecakes. Tapos yung video mo, parang may yung binabenda mo cheesecake, tapos may blueberry sa taas, tapos yung pag hiniwa mo, tumutulo pa yung blueberry na sobrang sarap. If you put that ad in front of someone who loves cheesecakes, di ba, parang it would be kung i-timing mo mga tipong habang na lunch sila, it's parang instant delivery within Akasha Estates, for example. Di ba? Message nila, how do I order? Ganyan. Diba? That's the importance really of being able to pinpoint the people that you want to reach. Diba? So you can target fans of Jericho Rosales. I don't know why you would do so, but you can. Diba? You can even target people na ang nilagay nila sa work employer nila is Eddie sa puso mo no? or Krusty Krab. You can target this. So for those of you that um, find it either amazing or scary, um, I'll let you know how Facebook ads work. No? Um, how Facebook knows what you are interested in. So 
lahat tayo as people we have our own interests no i might like basketball i might like cheesecake na nataka mo sa cheesecake example ko kanina i might like um dark chocolate chip oatmeal cookies uh, personal favorite um so those interests they manifest themselves as behaviors no particularly behaviors that we you do on facebook now for example mahilig ako magbake chances are i would watch videos of people baking or mga baking recipes on facebook no let's say mahilig ako sa basketball ang behavior ko would be to watch basketball videos on facebook kung mahilig ako sa japanese food my behavior would be to like pictures of mga katsu curry or all of these japanese food on facebook and these seemingly innocent engagements that we do mag-click ka lang mag ka ng video this is facebook's way of profiling us it's also the same reason why at one point siguro you found na bakit si facebook puro na lang ang pinapakita sa akin puro na lang bad news or si facebook ang pinapakita sa akin puro na lang pictures ng babies or si facebook pinapakita na sa akin puro kalokohan or puro mga kinakasal it's probably because you have been engaging with that type of content and nakikita ni Facebook, for example, lag, may, may, may bad news, may kipag-comment ka, may kipag-away ka sa comment thread, kahit na bad experience siya sa'yo, nakikita ni Facebook na nag-engage siya. So it wants to keep you on the platform, so bato lang siya ng bato ng same kind of content. Kung like ka ng like ng pictures ng mga bata, nakikita ni Facebook, ah, si Julian mahilig sa mga bata. Sige, let's let let show him more pictures of children. No? Or kung mahilig ka sa kalokohan, laugh ka ng la- parang comment ka ng comment sa mga kalokohan ng mga kaibigan mo, si Facebook will keep on showing you memes and puro mga kalokohan. Um, and on the other hand, there would be businesses, there would be advertisers who would want to reach their target audience through these interests. Diba? Again, kung if I am selling cheesecake, um, hindi sasabihin sa akin ni Facebook the exact people who want the cheesecake, but they can target people who show that they're interested in cheesecakes. Um, Um, so that's how Facebook targeting um, works, particularly for ads. Um, so I, by the way, I see some questions in the answer chat. Um, I see some questions in the answer chat. Um, I might not have gotten to um, to them. Please save them for the Q and A later, para kasi baka hindi ko mababalikan na, right? So yeah. So that's how Facebook ads work. Um, is this particular um, concept clear, or yung the idea of targeting is that clear? Please let me know sa chat. I know for some na putol putol, but um, hopefully that gets better. Sige, clear. Thank you. Okay. So really, for us, how to attract more customers and likers for your Facebook page is really um, honing in on the four elements. No, honing on the four elements. Having a good offer. Create an offer that 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 your customers actually want. No? Uh, what do they want more than the more than what you're selling more than your service or your you know uh, for example let's use the example of the wedding cake it, more than the wedding cake itself what is it actually that you're providing diba? you're providing a good experience for the newlywed couple you're providing a stress free experience na ay, hindi mo na alalahanin yung cake um, what are you offering them number two, write copy that will get people to take action Um, and the only way for them, the only way for them to do that is that you understand what they are going through, diba? Parang even in ano, kahit hindi kayo bibenta, even in person-to-person connection relationships, so you go to a room, mga run, mga hundred people, hindi mo kailala, and then you start to talk with five, ten, fifteen people. The the people you end up connecting with, yung mga may similarities, diba? Like for example, ay nasa ano ka, nasa nasa abroad ka. I Filipino ka din and then I start to talk to that person. No, I've experienced that no nasa when I lived for two years in Malaysia. Anytime I would see someone na may as an introvert, hirap na hirap to make friends eh. Pero when I would go out, may talk, I Filipino ka din, instantly become friends. Um or kung hindi siya Filipino, I ano parang hey, you like drinking also? Or friends na kami. Or hey, you like this TV show also? That's the same with your copy. If you're able to connect with people, then they're likely to really like your page, follow you, and eventually even inquire. Number three, plan creatives that cut through the noisy platform. No? There are a lot of people vying for your attention, and you can compete with a lot of different people and pages 
for the attention of your target audience. Uh, so creators really help you get your message through. And then finally, after all of this has been prepared, make sure to put it in front of the right person. For the first three, for the first three, kahit hindi ka mag-ads, if you have those down, those should be able to help. But if you're really trying to hone in on the people that you want to reach, now again, local area, moms, kung specific, highly recommend that you try Facebook ads. Now, if cost is a concern, you can get started with whatever budget you're comfortable with. Minimum is 53 pesos per day. Can you imagine the yung, yung ad namin na uh, dito lang sa neighborhood namin? Ano lang yun? 100 pesos per day lang yun. Um, nung nag-bazaar. 100 pesos per day lang yun. We were able to get people to inquire and even get them come to our booth. Diba? So, Facebook ads really help you put your ads in front of the right people. Now, if this is if this has been helpful, I'll answer some questions in a bit. No, but if ever you found, particularly those na, hin- na hindi pa Facebook ads before, and you started to see na parang, shucks, pwede to, pwede to sa business ko, pwede to um, i-grow yung, yung business ko, it can help me um, reach to my target audience, even if it's lockdown. No? Um, we have campaigns na nag-stop, but we have campaigns ngayon na tuloy-tuloy pa rin kasi we're generating inquiries for our clients. No, if you want to learn this, Inside of the Bailiwick, we actually have um, a course on how to grow your business with Facebook ads. Um, so after this call, please feel free to check it out. Um, and it's it's there naman. No? It's going to be there um, for when you guys are ready. All right. So at this point, um, thank you. I'd like to first thank you. I'm going to stop na ako ng slide para face mo na makita niya. Um, at this point, I'd like to um, thank you guys for um, being here tonight or being here in general. Uh, and yeah, really just wanted to thank you. And at the point, I wanted to know what specific questions you had so that we can help you out. Right? Please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, I'll just try to figure this out para face ko yung nakikita niya. Ayan, okay. So face ko lang nakikita niya. Please feel free to um, but what are the dimensions of square? Um, actually, I don't know the official dimensions, but we play around between 800 by 800 to 1, and 1,000 by 1,000. Mas ginagamit ko recently yung 1,000 by 1,000. Um, I use Canva. Um, and sa Canva, yung default namin is 1,000 by 1,000. Faith was late. Um, I believe this is being recorded naman. It's send naman daw ni... Place. Is Boomerang a good tool for video creative? Yes. Um, so, okay, kwento ko lang. Um, I have, uh, no, so we have an online course. And so we have a sales page. Right? We have a sales page. And then people will go there. It's parang my think twice. Ay, ayoko pang i-check yan. Sige, alis ako. I have an ad na Boomerang. It's me. So, imano mo, go, go through your news. And then it's me gumaganyan sa camera. Tapos yung copy lang niya is parang, I see you. Parang, I saw that you went to my sales page but didn't buy. No, um, no parang, how did I know that this is through the power of retargeting? Retargeting is something we teach in the online course. And if it's something you feel na makatulong sa business mo, um, enroll now so we can teach you this particular technique. Tapos boomerang lang siya, gumaganan-ganan lang ako. So, um, depende. Depende pa rin. Hindi mo siya boomerang for the sake of boomerang. Um, Pero for example, kaya pa ba kami gumamit ng boomerang? Not me, but I saw an ad na parang um, Chinese food. Tapos boomerang nung, ano mo sa steamer? Gumaganan, pagkaganan sa mga usok. Boomerang lang siya na ganun. Tapos okay naman siya. And this, this, that's the idea of being native. Diba? You're not trying to be an ad talaga, but you're fitting in sa newsfeed. So that's actually a very good idea. Magkana po po kung na service sa isang social media marketer? Iba yun. Um, depende kasi on the work to be done. So there are some work kasi na it's really creative and planning and strategy na medyo mas mabigat. Yung iba naman, it's just, okay, ito yung business ko. Please create content or please run ads. Um, some people will charge by the R. Some people will charge by the ad or by the creative or by the post. Um People like me, for example, mga tamad mag, mag, mag-compute or mag, mag-calculate, naka-retainer kami, so para every month. Some people naman will charge based on commission. Um, when I was getting started, when I was doing it for my friends, na commission basis kami. 
um, and I would only get paid once a customer came. No? Um, so that's that. Those are the different pricing models. If you're looking to do this, uh, or, or hire someone to do this for your um, for your company, those are some things to consider. Right. I appreciate your input. We'll visit Copy and Creatives. Um, thank you, sir. Kaya potol potol. So hopefully in the replay, na hindi siya um potol potol. Um, thank you for bearing with us. Um, this. Would you recommend a free, easy video editor? Um. Yeah. I know if it if it helps, no. Um, but the maganda with Facebook is you can actually. Inside the Facebook ads, you, there's actually um, an editor there. Para you can do, parang dati, slideshow lang siya. Upload ka ng videos, tapos magkakasunod na yung, eh, upload ng pictures, magkakasunod na yung pictures. Pero now, because Facebook wants people to create videos talaga on Facebook, you can do uploading of pictures, inputting of text, tapos meron siyang mga templates sa sobrang ganda. No? Na parang may, may pa-pan pa, may pa-zoom in effect pa, ganyan. So, um, if you're looking for a free, video editor yung madali lang, inside the Facebook ads, meron siya. Is Facebook ad similar to IG sponsored ad? Yes, um, it is. Now, so you also set that up from Facebook. Um, you also set that up from Facebook and then pwede mo siya ipanabas sa Instagram. Thank you. Per day po yung bayad sa FB, same po ba yun ng Ad boost. Okay, so it's a bit technical, but generally yes. Um, and you pay Facebook um, pag nagraran na yung yung ads. Now, for example, pwede siyang per day. No, if you set it na 500 per day, it will run ads at 500 per day. No, and then iba iba yung setup ng mga ad accounts. For me, and for me, for example, it always charges me at the end of the month. No, at yung nagastos ng ads. There are some people na yung default nila is Facebook bills them after a certain amount. For example, for a client of mine, every 1,500, every time nag-spend kami ng 1,500, binibill yung card niya. Um, so, yun, it depends. Pero na-change naman yun. Ano po most effective ad, photo or video? Um, there's no real answer to that. Po. Kasi, depend, number one, depends sa customer mo. And number two, depends sa photo and video mo. Kasi, sabi natin, may video ka, hindi naman siya engaging or it doesn't, um, it doesn't, it, it's not very for your target audience. Pata tayo siya ng picture or na photo na sobrang relevant. No? So, it would, rather than um, getting a, getting fixated on what the format should be, photo or video, it really boils down to relevance. So, um, if you can test both, it would be good. No? Uh, as much as possible, talagang we, we do both. And we see, no, we've done this for our clients multiple times and there's no real answer. Sometimes video would work better. Sometimes photos would work better. No, so it really depends. Um, dapat po ba lahat ng photos ay action shot? Not necessarily. Um, it was just an example I gave um, that's very specific to um, that's very specific to people who want to build already when you're speaking, for example. Um, or when you want to showcase a specific action. So, this is necessarily lahat action shots. Personally, favorite ko lang yan. Hinihingi ko siya for my clients eh. For example, may client ako na nagpa-photoshoot siya. Oh, ang dami mga picture na haganon siya. May laptop siya na nahaganon. Okay. Siya hinihingi sa kanya is, meron ka bang pictures na nagtotok ka? Meron ka bang pictures na, for example, I had a coach na martial artist that eh. Rather than yung nakapost ka, meron ka bang picture na may kasparing ka, parang ganun. So, preference lang siya, but it's a preference because it's been working for us. Actually, magkano po nagagastos pa ad sa FB? Depends. Ganyan yung maganda. It's, it's up to you. For me in particular, um, I like spending around 500 to 1,000 um, per day. Um, I have a client na spends 10,000 a day. Um, and we have clients na local businesses, like a travel agency, 300 a day lang. Um, and those 300 and dami namin na huwag messages sa Facebook so it really depends um, yung the technical answer is it depends din sa competitors mo eh. for example if marami kang kalaban tataas yung cost parang you, you need to um, pay Facebook more to reach your target audience 
But if you're in a space, for example, ikaw lang naman yung nag-ads ng, ng, ng cookies dito sa local area, there's a chance na baka mas mura siya. Pero yun, iba yun talaga. Wala po bang hidden charges? Wala. Kung ano yung makikita mo dun sa dashboard mo na na ads na ginam na kung ano nakita mong number don yun yung i-charge na yun yung Facebook. How safe is it to put your, your input your credit card in Facebook account? Um, very safe siya. Um, we haven't had an issue with that. I've been doing this for five years na walang issue. Um, so wala namang problem. If the concern is about fraud or anything, um, walang issue. The concern na lang is whom you're giving admin access to. For example, ako, let's say, i-hire mo ako. I-hire mo ako, hindi mo ako kilala, tapos bigyan mo ako ng admin access. I have access now to your credit card. Hindi ko siya magagamit, pero makikita ko siya. No? So, if you trust me, and kung mabait akong person, and by the way, mabait akong person, <laughs> hindi ko gagalawin yan. But, Siyempre, of course, you, you never know. Eh, no? Yun na yung magiging risk. In terms of putting your details into Facebook, wala na problem. It's, the question now is, who are you giving access to? No? Yun lang yung concern. Okay. Um, for some reason, ito ko ng example na to. It's like having your credit card sa bahay mo, no? in, in, in a bag in your house. So, it's safe. Having there, it's safe. But, sa pangang example ka, but, but the peel around you, hindi mo control kung ano, kung, kung gagawin yun or not. No? So, yun lang yung concern. Giving admin access to the people. Thank you. Okay. Meron ako pa lang, ano, sorry, just, just that question. That's actually a good question kasi meron ako naisip na sagot. If ang concern mo is security, what you can do and what I actually do is I don't put my credit card details on Facebook my credit card detail is with PayPal. And then yung PayPal yung connect sa Facebook ads. You can do that. No? Um, so that when, even when people have access, hindi naman nila makikita yung PayPal password ko or whatever. Hindi rin nila nakikita yung credit card details ko. So if that is a concern for you, uh, I would recommend you do that. No? Connect it to PayPal, PayPal to Facebook. Meron din po bang pwedeng target na area lang mag-advertise? Yes. So as I mentioned, we did it. Um, dati ginanan. So some Areas we've done is Dito, sa Tagig, um, where we are. We've done it for BGC. We've done it for Ateneo. We've, um, we've done it for specific buildings like the Bayanihan Center and ano, hotel, Novo Hotel in Cubao. We did Cubao then. So, it's a local area. Lang. In Dubai, yes. You can do Dubai. Lang. Ano po kayo nagiging problem sa akin? Kasi I ran the ads for a few months and then biglang ayaw na tanggapin ng no Facebook kasi bago ang credit card na gamit ko. Then, Nag-create din ako ng iba at ayaw pa din. Um, so you need to check with um, support. Kasi um, especially in the past few months, no, since mga end of 2018, um, mas naging strict si Facebook with regards to the rules around it, uh, around Facebook ads. So kung dati may mga, like ako, may mga ads ako nag-run before na hindi ko na siya pwede i-run ngayon. Like you saw my picture kanina may Facebook, dati pwede pa yun, eh. ngayon hindi na pwede yun. Kasi parang sinasabi daw ng ad, pag i-picture ako na may Facebook, it's like I'm misleading people to say na taga-Facebook ako. No? So may mga ganun talaga na parang before sa ganun nag-run, pero dahil nakita na ng, ng, ng appeals team or ng review team na, ay bawal yan. Kahit nag-run before, ah, pag tinan ng review team manually na, ay hindi pwede mag-run to, pwede siyang ma-disapprove. Now with regards to having new account, no? Um, if, for example, may na-disable yung dati mo account, kaya kami bagay account, if hindi pa ma-settle yun, chances are, pwede ka pang kabulin dun sa, dun sa bago mo account. Kahit mag-set up ka ng bagong account, kapag ma-connect ka dun sa disabled ad account at hindi mo pa siya na-resolve, baka ma-disable din yung iba. So what I would recommend for you, Jackie, um, is to um, contact Facebook support and confirm with them kung bakit na-disapprove or na-disable yung ad account mong isa so that you can continue to run ads. It means mas mura po pag certain area lang. Not necessarily, pero pwede. From Rizal, basically po, max po yung FP ad kapag magawa po natin yung forward sa discuss. Kasi po, if magbayad lang ng ad tapos hindi naman magawa, wala rin po. Yes. Now, if you run an ad, but you don't have a clear offer, no? parang masabihin ko lang, ay, cellphone, cellphone, 
and I don't say sa copy why it's important, ang pangit ng creative ko. I'm just spending money on ads. Pero wala na akong customers. Yeah. So, kaya important yung, yung apat na yun. As much as, syempre, it's important to know how to do Facebook ads and put everything together. If you don't have these four elements down, um, you'll be spending for ads that are not converting. How will we know if the ads are running before nag try kami, wala namang nag inquire or nag like? So um, that's why I don't recommend doing boosting post because you're just doing it from the page. You need to do it from ads manager. So every one of us has ads manager naman. Baka yung iba hindi pala na turn on. Now, if you go to Facebook, sa desktop, meron dun iba home, and then your name, parang Julian, tas meron create. If you click on the create button and then click on add, it will bring you to ads manager. So if you go to Ads Manager and run the ads from there, may kita mo doon how much you're spending, how many results you're getting, how many people you're reaching. Kasi baka mamaya nag-spend ka ng money for ads, wala na kuwang likes. So may kita mo na parang, ay, you've reached 1,000 people already, walang nag-like. Then you know na, ah, okay, baka mali yung targeting ko or baka mali yung ad, but it's running. Tested ko na din ang PayPal. Yung nga ganyan, that was around 2018. Paggawa po ba ng copy need ng credit to? Or okay na pampalabasin sa'yo lang yung laman ng copy? Um, so we do it two ways. Kung gusto namin verbatim, kinakote namin. Parang, for example, um, ang galing ng, ang galing ng, ang galing ni Julian. Um, or this, ano, this, this online course really helped me grow my business. Minsan we just put it in quotation marks. Tapos, nalagay lang namin yung name, parang Julian C. or Grace P. Um, but normally, ano, we just put it as is. Uh, parang sabi ng, ng, ng review is, um, Julian really helped us understand Facebook ads and made it clear. Uh, sabi ko sa ad na parang, um, we help our clients understand Facebook ads and make it clear. Parang ganon. Um, unless it's a quote, unless it's a famous quote, for example, na parang, um, the journey of a thousand steps begins with one, a thousand miles begins with one step. Yung mga kilalang quotes, yung mga yan, bigyan mo credit. Uh, um, but if it's like mentioned lang in a review, ganyan, you can just put it in. What some people do is they ask for video reviews. Kasi yun na mismo yung ad nila. So yun, binibigyan mo ng credit. Now, this was a customer, siya yung pinapaalam na parang can I use this as an ad or a video. Well, so when it makes sense, Siyempre, we want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, inform how you can contact me. Um, yeah, so ano, um, I believe Grace mentioned that um, most of you, if not all, are existing, uh, are currently students of the week. So if you have a specific question, please feel free to post it sa group. I tag para makita ko. No? So that's one. Number two, you can add follow me on Facebook. No? So my name is Julian Canita. Please, um, Add and follow my page. I my my file, Julian Kenita, kasi ako as a tao. And also like my page for fun lang. Para lang page likes ako. Um, Julian Kenita. Um, so just look for Julian Kenita. Search niyo yung dalawa lalabas. Profile ko and Facebook page ko. So please like them both. Um, and then please feel free to message me if you have any questions. From Rizal. So how to deal ka po pag mahabang credit or about picture po kaya? As much as possible, ni po ba original? Um, I'm not specifically sure what you're referring to. No, but if this is a, a big concern, then just put the name of the person who said it. Copy. Okay. Um, example, you can you give me an example? Sa image, ah, okay, sorry, sorry. I thought you referred image. For images, you're not allowed to use images, you're not allowed to use images na you're not allowed to use. No? So like for me, for example, if you're using, um, when I got started, wala akong magamit na images, magamit ako na free stock photos. No? So may mga free stock photo websites there, no? um, yung mga hindi mo kailangan ng credit or whatever, tapos walang hahabol sa'yo kung gamitin mo sila. Ang maganda kay Facebook is inside of Ads Manager, as you're doing your ad, you can actually have access, free access to images from Shutterstock. It's a paid stock photo website, but if you're using it through Ads Manager, um, wala ka nang babayan. All you have to do is input, for example, baking, kung yung images to, yun hindi mo na siya kailangan ni copyright. 
um kasi those will be you have access to that as an advertiser no so yeah but for example if you're really getting some okay ikaw Rizel may nakita akong ano may nakita akong picture mo gusto kong gamitin yun I, for your for it's it's, it's a photo I would need to ask your permission and have the proper um, licenses to be able to use that as an ad. Or else, kung makita mong ginagamit mo siya, you can actually report me to Facebook. Um, and more than that, you can take legal action. Parang ganun. Pero, mas okay yung, yeah, tama si Grace, mas okay yung photo. That's why for me, again, you don't need a whole photo shoot. Though it would be nice, um, phone lang talaga gamit ko. Minsan lang mag-run akong ad. And this is real. Mag-run akong ad. Pumunta lang sa library ko. Ano mga selfie ko yung pwede kong gamitin? Parang ganun. <laughs> All right, sige. So if there are no other questions, thank you everyone for, for spending this time. Thank you, Grace, for this opportunity. Um, so please let them know where to access the recording na lang and everything. I apologize. I, I saw a lot of comments about um, napuputol and like, choppy. So um, I apologize for that. Hopefully, in the recording, it's more clear. Um, but yeah, thank you, Grace, um, for, for allowing to be on here live. And yeah, have a great day, everyone. Uh, day or night, everyone. Um, have a good whole week. Holy Thursday na pala tomorrow. And always keep safe. No? Um, so hopefully this whole coronavirus um, will be over soon. So thank you, thank you, thank um, you. Thank you. Thank you, Julian, for uh, um, for gracing up us with this webinar. Sobrang dami namin natutunan sa'yo today. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. And uh, for those na may mga uh, for further questions pa for Julian, uh, just tag him uh, dun sa Facebook launch natin. So, if ever na wala pa rin kayo dun sa Facebook group natin, just go to, uh, check nyo yung email ko kasi laging nandun yung invitation to join dun sa Facebook group. And then, um, just indicate nyo lang yung email address na reg registered email address ninyo dun sa site para alam ko na kayo yun. Okay? So, yun. Um, Thank you sa lahat na mga umattend. Um, I will send a recording uh, of this uh, webinar uh, sa email ninyo. So uh, just give me time to upload, uh, to download the video and uh, I'll send the link to our uh, to your emails. Okay? So thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.